guys, it's Ewan here. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how you can set up your Amazon FBA account. Let's get started. Okay guys, so for the majority of this video, I'm actually going to be using my laptop. So let's jump into my laptop and then you can follow me along from there. So before we really get into it, I just want to let you guys know this is going to be a two-part series because I really go in-depth in this video because I want to make sure that you guys understand every last single bit involved with the Amazon FBA setup so stay tuned for a part two coming out either tomorrow or the day after that okay so here we are guys on my laptop screen right here so here I am right now just uh, uh, the Google home screen and we're actually just gonna go straight to the Amazon FBA sign up page so if you just type in Amazon FBA seller central and then click enter. The first item that's going to come up is Seller Central Amazon.com. Just go ahead and click on that. And then you'll come to this page right here. Now, this has my information right here, which you guys can't see right now. I'm just going to block that out. Um, but what you want to do is go down here where it says register now to sell your products to millions of Amazon.com customers. So you want to go ahead and click on that. And then that's going to bring you to this page right here. So once you get to this page here, um, this basically just gives you a rundown of what Amazon FBA is, um, just to give you a perspective from Amazon themselves. So here, for example, over 40% of our profits come from selling on Amazon. And this is from a CEO and partner of Hot Chocolate Design. And by the looks of it, they sell um, designer shoes, I guess. Um, but this basically just gives you a little bit of a rundown of what Amazon FBA is and how you can actually start making money from it. So you can read through that information if you want. It's not really necessary. It just gives you somewhat of a background into Amazon FBA. Um, but you want to go ahead and click this button right here. Um, and you may actually notice right here, um, it does cost $39.99 a month plus additional selling fees. Um, and the additional selling fees, we'll get into that in another video because that isn't really the point of this video right now. Um, but to actually create a Amazon FBA account, it is going to run you $40 a month. But considering if you find a really good product that starts selling really well, $40 a month isn't really going to mean anything to you. So let's just go ahead and click on the Start Selling button. And then that's going to bring you to this um, screen right here. And again, my information is being shown here. Um, but what you're going to want to do is go to create your Amazon account and then fill in this information here and then click next. And then that should take you to a screen where you should be able to actually access your Amazon seller dashboard. But just for these purposes, I'm going to log in with my own account. So my information is right here. I'm just going to go ahead and click next. So here we go. This is the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. So basically what this is, is your back office, so to speak, for Amazon FBA. It's going to give you multiple different reports that you can get, as well as what your inventory levels are. It's going to let you add a new product to your store. It's going to give you a rundown of what your payments from Amazon are for selling your products on FBA, as well as your sales summary down here as well. Um, but we're going to get into that in a minute. So like I said, here is your Amazon Seller Central dashboard account. So I'll just give you a walk through um, basically what each of these different boxes here means. So in this first box here is the notifications box. So um, every week or two weeks or even like just once a month Amazon will have a new notification that they post generally you will actually really want to read these notifications because um, they will mean something for your Amazon FBA business uh, here for example Amazon saying okay the US FBA fees have changed and this is gonna happen starting February 22nd 2018 so obviously that's something that I'm going to want to read because that's going to affect my bottom line at the end of the day. Um, so in this box right here, this is just going to show what your orders are. Um, so pending, premium unshipped, unshipped and return requests. Um, generally this will all update by itself. Seller fulfilled. So this right here is only if you're doing retail arbitrage and that is 
basically um, selling on Amazon as if you were selling on eBay. Um, and I can make another video about that in the future if you guys want. I haven't done any retail arbitrage, so to speak, but I know exactly how it is done. So if you would like me to make a video on that, I can. Um, and then down here is fulfilled by Amazon. Um, and here you can see um, all like, the products that Amazon has filled, fulfilled for me in the past uh, day as well as the last seven days. Um, so this generally is updated by itself as well and then Amazon does automatically update that and fulfill all your products for you. So in this space right here generally there will be um, different ads that are displayed depending on how far you are in your Amazon FBA journey. Um, generally these can help out. Um, I mean this one for example is sold by Taika Metrics. Um, sponsored products masterclass so uh, basically just teaching you how to do well with Amazon uh, pay-per-click advertising which I'm gonna talk a little bit about in this video but I'm actually gonna make a more in-depth video about that in the future so this right here is your payment summary um, and then this shows like my payments right here you guys can't see that right now just because I've blocked that off um, so your, it will show your most recent payment and generally Amazon will only pay you once every two weeks which is a little bit of a downside of Amazon FBA but that's just part of doing business just in general you have to live through um, a little bit of the cons I guess there's gonna be cons in any kind of business that you're doing so that's just one con I guess you could say of doing Amazon FBA but then it's also going to show what your balance is as well so this is just the balance of the amount of sales that you have done um, after Amazon has actually dispersed that last payment to your bank account um, and generally speaking Amazon will keep roughly um, 10 to 20 percent don't quote me on that number that's just I'm estimating that right now um, so they'll generally keep 10 to 20 percent of this number um, for about five to ten days after they send you your payment um, just so that they have enough money to actually refund the seller or the buyer, sorry, um, if they decide to um, ask for a refund, that money will come directly out of your balance. Uh, right here, manage your case log. Um, I've never really used this as much, but I know um, you can use this if you're doing retail arbitrage again. Um, you can look up what this means. I'm sure there's like a more in depth YouTube video, but it's not something that I'm going to really discuss in depth unless you guys actually request me to make a video on it specifically. Um, down here, it's just going to show you your sales summary. So how many sales you've made today, the past 7 days, the past 15 days, and the past 30 days. Um, again, you guys won't be able to see this because I've blocked it off. Um, but yeah, this is just going to give you a quick sales summary of what's happened over the past uh, day, 7 days, 15 days, and 30 days. And then you can actually go more in depth by clicking view more of your sales statistics. And I'll just go ahead and do that quickly. So this is just going to give you a quick um, dashboard of what's going on with your sales. And you can break this down by um, all these different dates here. And then a sales breakdown by marketplace. So business buyers or non-business buyers. Your product category. So what category that your product fits into. Um, you can just have one category for all your products and then that's just gonna like go all into one or you can have multiple different categories and then you can just filter that as you want. And then your fulfillment channel, uh, Am Amazon or seller. Seller is if you're doing um, all the fulfillment by yourself. Amazon is if you're doing Amazon FBA, which is the point of this video if you haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Um, but you can also um, get some business reports um, by date, sales and traffic, um, seller performance, and then you can even go more in detail with uh, page sales and traffic. And then all these um, different reports that you can get as well. Um, if you do end up creating a Amazon FBA account, you can dive into these more. And um, I'll let you guys figure out how those work as well. So just going back to the main dashboard page. Um, other things that um, I would say you need to be aware of um, 
again, headlines, so this will just be the same as these notifications up here, but as they start to get older, they'll start to appear down here. Um, there's customer feedback. So this is something that's actually really important for you is an Amazon FBA seller. Um, if you have bad customer feedback, then generally a customer probably is going to look for another seller of the same product before they decide to buy from you. Um, so generally you want to make sure this customer feedback rating um, is at least four, if not five stars. Um, it doesn't really matter that much I found how many actual ratings you have um, as long as your customer sees that you have good customer feedback that will generally increase the likelihood that they're gonna end up buying from you um, here your performance and buyer messages um, I don't really mess with this that much but basically you can um, see buyer messages so if like a customer buys from you you will be able to actually see if they um, message Amazon for example if they want a refund um, you'll be able to see okay this um, customers asked for a refund so I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and try and figure out what that order was um, to try and understand okay um, has that product refund actually came in yet or is it still being processed and that um, is basically covered in this whole performance area right here so you may have noticed these different tabs that are listed up here um, and I'm actually gonna go and dive into these in another video so stay tuned for that one uh, but for now that pretty much covers this first part for the Amazon Sailor Central walkthrough thanks so that about wraps up today's episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it, please leave a comment, uh, like the video and then subscribe as well. Uh, I'm going to be having more videos on Amazon FBA and then if you would like, I'm also going to start making more videos on Shopify because I've actually just launched my Shopify store this past week and I'm running multiple different tests to try and understand what I need to do to actually make my Shopify store successful. So if that's something that you're interested in, then please subscribe and then I'll begin to start making more videos on that subject as well. Thanks, have a good one and see you in the next one. Bye.